What's better than one eye, stranger? Three. What is up, guys? It's Jesse here. Guys, here, guys. Good morning. So today, we're actually be making a video for those of you who might be in the market to buy an IS300. So we're gonna be giving our top five things that we absolutely love about the IS300. We will be also making a top five things that we absolutely hate about the IS300 because no car is perfect. And if you guys didn't know, we actually have three of them. Two of them are manual transmission and one's an automatic. So right off the bat, let's start off with number one. Number one, what me and Jesse decided we love most about the our, IS 300. Our main IS 300s. Yeah, it's the uh, manual transmission. The five speed, you know, banging gears, it's better than just pressing two battle shifters. Or that's... letting it just shift by itself. Exactly. So that's our number one. Uh, for driver experience, for just because yeah. you're actually in tune with the car, you actually have to pay attention. With an auto, you really don't have to do any of that. So that's something that we absolutely love. Uh, I probably will. I probably would have never bought this IS 300 if it was an auto, but after having an, uh, a manual, that's why we picked up that automatic over there. Yep. But yeah, guys, that was number one. Number two, guys, on our list of what we actually do love about the IS300 is reliability because the 2J that I have, uh, when I first got it, has over 300, 330,000 miles and the engine was still running. And Jesse's. I picked this car up with 267,000 miles on the clock. Uh, the, the funny thing is that every all these cars you see right here, they all have over 250,000 miles all and they all run, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. <laughs> but if you properly maintain your car, just keep doing an oil change and always flush your coolant, like don't ever let that run low. They will always be reliable as long as like you don't absolutely beat the living crap out of it. But in the overall, if you properly maintain your car, it will last you. And that's something that we truly love about it just because Toyota actually gave it a good motor. Eh, good motor. <laughs> <laughs> Considering, I mean, they're still running after yeah. 200 plus thousand miles. And I'm not saying the last owner from my 2J took care of it like 100% as I am taking care of it now. But the way he was maintaining it, I mean... Gave it got it, it to where to... it is now exactly. and it got it up to 333,000 miles. In a five speed and everything's still good. All right, guys. And number three is, list is the, the looks themselves. Uh, the ICE 300s are very nice cars inside and out. Uh, inside, they're actually pretty nice, sporty. From the outside stock, I want to say they're a little feminine just because they're really bubbly. But once you've properly modded the car, it can look really aggressive. And that's the look we're going to be taking with each and in each individual car uh, slowly they're getting built his is pretty much there besides wheels so on looks as Jesse mentioned that he wishes that those wheels came on all 300s one thing they also sh they also should have included was these brake lights they're actually different compared to any other ice 300 they're what are they called the sport design those are actually the sport design tail lights and those are the normal yeah Someone these are normal put those sport design wheels on that car you can see the tail light it's like chrome in there and this one's like well, what color would you say it's more of a graphite grayish like, yeah. so we'll give you guys a little walk around cars are a little dirty right now because i mean dirt but they just sit here but we'll give you a little walk around that's number three on our list the looks which they do look really nice Sitting inside the IS300, uh, the cluster itself is going to be number four. Uh, it's a really appealing cluster. It kind of looks like a clock, and that's something that we personally love. Uh, this comes in all IS300s, even the automatics. The only change is right here, it would say Prindle or whatever it is. This was the first year they ever introduced this, and they stopped making it for the second gen, but they did bring it back for the third gen. Uh, the like Gus's new IS250 and yeah that's something that is really nice once it's lit up at night it looks extra nice yeah, especially the way, with like, the lights that we have yeah and the lights that we did add on it like that's really nice on it and the way it just moves like the way your your attack moves the way your speedo moves uh, I don't know why Lexus did that or Toyota in general but they give you your MPGs which is a uh, what are the it'll tell you you're doing like 80 miles Per, per gallon, gallon yeah. <laughs> but you're really not ever getting so that's that. Kind of, that's kind of pointless on that part. I wish they would have added, like, what would you say on it? Would be more helpful, like uh, the oil pressure gauge or you know, 
get rid of the cold and hot, which you know is that. And then what's the third one they added on there? The battery. battery. The battery. I guess that you can. That's useful. But the MPG one, I find that to be pretty useless. I mean, it's cool because it just jumps around and it moves, and that's pretty cool about it. But the cluster, yeah, that's one. That's one of my favorite parts about it as well. Alongside the cluster, we're gonna include the interior itself. Uh, I think. It was a really smart design that they did with the suede, with the leather. Uh, it makes the actual car look a lot more sportier than what it really is. The the wheel, I like the steering wheel. The steering wheel is really like it's just the way you when you when you feel it, you just feel like you're in control. I like the gas pedals, the way they all match and hits just that sporty look. You got the dead pedal right there, it looks really nice as well. The seats aren't too sporty. But they're they're comfortable you know for the year um, they are yeah the year they are uh shifting like when you're you know you're shifting the gears it feels like it was it's perfect um the dash i like the way they designed pretty much just kind of how everything is designed and it's placed it, it's not too bad and they did give us a, a moon roof which i actually white well, moon roof, right sunroof a sunroof yeah which i actually do like so you know if you're ever with a girl you know your girlfriend you go to a view and you just want to pop that open you get to see some stars so that's one thing <laughs> i really like so the fifth thing is handling itself uh from the factory the car does feel really good uh obviously there's going to be body roll because the car is kind of high mm -hmm. at stock height but once properly done as gus has done with his where he's done all suspension mods it makes the car come really alive uh through the corners it just wants to grip uh although he didn't pick the greatest suspension as yeah the suspension is cheap. you know the, the, <laughs> it's a little cheap the suspension i kind of would have the suspension is just if you want to be lowered it's nothing crazy if you want to hit the track or anything like that it's just regular teens uh what do you call those teens? Uh, the street bases the street bases some basic stuff and um the handling on that compared to Jesse's, like it, it made a it's difference. A night and day. Yeah, night and day. Since I have sway bars, front, rear, I have the the chassis, the the front, the front up your chassis brace, the one in the trunk, and um, it, it made a night and day in difference, like with handling and all that. Like little steering feel, it just moves the car everywhere. So handling is one thing that we actually do love. When you upgrade it, and eventually, when I do get some good coilovers on it, hopefully it feels even better. So that's what I'm hoping for. But that was fifth on their list. Yeah, yeah that's fifth on their list. The handling. Um, again, guys, if you guys like this video, if you guys uh, are in the market for the this market video, or you know someone is in the market, share the video and uh, hopefully this little walk around about five things we love about our IS 300 can get them to purchase one. If you know, because it's definitely going to put a smile on their face. But it's good to know things before you buy a car. Exactly. From owners, from. We have three of them. And so eventually we're going to do another video doing five things we actually hate, which is a couple of things, but that's for another video. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have any questions, any comments, anything, throw it down below. Me and Jesse will try to answer them as, uh, detailed, as, possible. as detailed as possible. Yeah. And um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. All right, guys.